Put the ball in the basket, Chief. You goddamn crack your ass. This is my <clears throat> one six goddamn interpretation of Randall Patrick McMurphy from One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And uh, it's taken some time to put this son of a bitch together because, you know, when I started, when I started, I started saying Canadian, when I started this business, I picked up this sculpt off a uh, diver as a recast of the subway. Here's Johnny figure. And, uh, you know, my painting skills ain't as great as they should be, but they're getting there. They're getting there slowly, but surely they're getting there. And they're still looking a bit RNG, but in real life, this camera's doing it more of a a service than it actually looks in person. It looks more RNG. So I'm going to go in there and repaint that son of a bitch. That Nurse Pratchett, she's somewhat of a cunt, isn't she? Wait till she gets a load of me. I'm gonna put a bug so far up her ass she won't know whether she's coming or going. Who's gonna take a bed? So anyway, this is my figure as he is now. He needs some work. And I've been working on him recently. Repainted the sculpt, uh, weathered the jeans. You need to be a little bit darker in places where it's not so weathered. Uh, the original colours here, they are a bit darker in the film. Boots need weathering, they're a bit dirtier, but they are pretty screen accurate boots. They are off the subway, here's Johnny figure, picked them up loose when it was about a few years back, two or three years ago. Jacket is a army jacket, uh, it's pretty accurate to the film. Just needs weathering up and uh, love it. I've weathered it some, but needs a lot more weathering to make it look gold and broken in. So I'll be doing that. The shirt's okay. It's an action man and vintage uh, sailor shirt. I say the sculpt needs a bit of work still on the, the eyes and the skin tone and the five o'clock shadow. Just show you the re-sculpt I did on the head. Originally, it did have uh, long hair, no ears, so I um, went in there and carved him out some ears out of his fucking hair. And they're a bit fucked up. Looks like uh, Chopper Reed, where he's gone in there and hacked off his own fucking ears, you know? Incidentally, it's another good film. Another great character, which I wanted to do. I've attempted, and not too happy with the head sculpt so I will try and get a new head sculpt and finish that figure but this one is getting there I like the expression, I like the teeth the gums uh, come out pretty nice not too bad for a fucking cat candy fool like me and uh, the head re-sculpt pretty goddamn good and I just got to sew out right, some ears, nick some ears off some other figure because <laughs> I'm not that good at sculpting. So I might chop the ears off something else and glue them on there, paste them on, sculpt them on. Fucking, I don't know. Those fucking cabbage-like ears ain't very good. So they got to go. And I got to go too and fucking buy a new camera or invest in some better lighting because this is looking like a piece of goddamn shit. Anyway, you goddamn cracker asses, I'm out of here.